need a congressman who does what he says. Desjardins did. Someone who'll deliver. Desjardins did. Desjardins who? Did Desjardins what? Desjardins, the doctor. Now that was a campaign ad from 2012 where Congressman Scott Desjardins in Tennessee, that Republican incumbent is running again amidst a litany of allegations and scandals. And joining us now from Newsmax, New York, a young conservative hoping to unseat the incumbent, Grant Sterrett. Grant, it's good to have you here tonight on Newsmax Prime. Hey, it's good to see you, J.D. Thanks very much. Now, Grant, in the presidential race, you've endorsed Ted Cruz. Your opponent has endorsed Donald Trump. Uh, your platform relying heavily on social conservatism as well as the perceived constitutional crisis Senator Cruz talks about so often. You're an underdog, but That's you've right. picked up some high-profile endorsements. Why do you think your message is resonating so well with conservatives? Well, I'll tell you, I was knocking on doors in Grundy County, which is the poorest county in Tennessee, and I met a farmer who had uh, injured his shoulder last year, and I said to him, I said, you know, I'm running against Scott Desjardins because he voted for $700 billion in food stamps, and he told me that he tried to hire some able-bodied young guys to help him on his farm, and not one wanted to be caught working lest they lose their benefits. And so the reason I think my message is a bit resonating is because people are tired of dependency. They want to get back to work. Uh, it's interesting, Grant, as you continue to work hard in this campaign, uh, some big names are saying some good things about you. As a matter of fact, Hugh Hewitt was on CNN the other night mentioning you by name, touting your virtues, including the fact that you're a young guy. Let's look and listen. There is a changing of the guard on the Republican side. Now, I'm a Republican, so people can correct for the lie of the green. We've got all the young talent. They've got the oldest. They're like the Cleveland Browns. I'm a Browns fan, Chris. They're old, old, old in many places where you need to be young, young, young. Uh, so he had mentioned your name right before we went to the soundbite, but uh, that kind of sure. advocacy on television, must, uh, you must really like it. Uh, where, where can viewers go to find out more about your campaign? Sure, www.grant4tn.com. That's my website, and that's where I talk about how I want to face our crises. Fair enough. Grant uh, Starrett, we thank you so much for joining us tonight from Newsmax, New York, and we'll continue to monitor the campaign. Now, you. before you and I part company tonight, our Newsmax Prime production team came across a video we thought you would enjoy. Ted Cruz, Marco Rubio, and Donald Trump in a, a kind of um, variation on the old Munsters TV show. Check this out, courtesy of Gorilla Pig. Here it is. Now, I, I got to tell you, Gorilla Pig, not really flattering to Republicans, but even a guts up Republican like yours truly, a conservative, sees the humor right there. And truth be told, I bet Ted Cruz and Marco Rubio and Donald Trump might get a chuckle from that. Pretty clever use of that old sitcom opening and the facial expression Trump had evocative of the late, great Fred Gwynn as Herman Munster. Gotta admit, it was, it was really cleverly done. So, thought you might enjoy that, or maybe not. You may want to take issue with me showing that. And if you do, I'm ready to take my lumps from you. So this is what I would ask. Get in front of your keyboard and let me know what you think. Send it to me at NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. Again, NewsmaxTV.com slash comments. We'll have your comments tomorrow night. That'll do it for now. Until tomorrow evening, stay brave, stay free, stay tuned.